But now we have some sad news related to a beloved destination here in Northeast Ohio. Yeah, the longtime owner and operator of one of our area's hidden gems has passed away. Truly hope it just continues on in his name. Thank you very much. Russell Wintner, the smiling face behind Memphis Kitty Park, passed away this weekend at his, winter, at, at his home in Florida. He was 70 years old. As they prepared to say goodbye, his friends and family are remembering Wintner for the smiles he loved to share and create. Jordan Vandenberg has the story. If there ever was a place that reflected the personality of its owner, Memphis Kitty Park would be it. It's a special place and owner Russell Wintner was. Russell, uh, a special person. A really good guy. I mean, he, he, he'll he help anybody. You know, I, I've seen him actually get taken advantage of from helping people out, but uh, he, he just continued to do it. Mike Kissel is the park's manager, and Wintner was his supervisor, but only on paper. I've known him for 30 years, and so he's also a friend, not just a boss. Wintner was responsible for so much joy, but now, this summertime tradition still hard to wrap my head around this whole thing. is more quiet than usual. Last I talked to him, he was fine. You know, and that was, uh, I believe, about a week or so ago. Russell Wintner passed away peacefully at his winter home in Florida on Monday. He was 70 years young. And he was definitely a hands-on manager, owner, operator. Initially an industrial engineer, Wintner became a pioneer in the motion picture industry. But the family-run Memphis Kitty Park was his true love. We don't have the big splashy stuff. We're just kitty park. He always ensured the park stayed true to itself. And it's part of the reason the park is so endearing. He was a big kid like myself. You know, you come in here and then the first thing you do, you got a big smile on your face and you walk in this place and all. But uh, yeah, he truly loved this place. He really did. Memphis Kitty Park is the perfect embodiment of how Wintner lived his life. He's one of a kind. The next time the Little Dipper starts moving down the track, he'll still be there, guiding it. He'll always be here. In Brooklyn. You know, believe it or not. Jordan Vandenberg. But, uh, he was fine. Eh, it's different. Wintner's funeral is Friday in Cleveland Heights. And we have more information on our website. You can find it at news5cleveland.com.